Today we are going to be working on my Miata, commonly known as the Lamborghini, and we're going to be changing something up. Lately I've been trying to get this thing kind of prepped to be able to take it out more this season. We did have to fix the lip, I'm not going to show you that right now until we take this thing out. Uh, basically the thing was bent and it sheared off a bolt, so I fixed that last night. Uh, not really entertaining, we didn't really do much but fix some stuff. Uh, but that's settled and I also made the lights straight and tightened them. That was one thing that like really annoyed me in pictures is whenever I would see the headlights were all crooked and everything. Uh, I just wouldn't notice until I already saw the pictures were done so uh, that shouldn't be too much of an issue anymore and they shouldn't be bouncing around while we drive but we come towards the rear and there are two things that I want to fix and change and redo and that is the diffuser that thing it has been floppy and all of the struts have broken that's why we have zip ties uh, we are going to be taking that off later today taking the templates of what is here we're going to send that out to Street Arrow and then from there they're going to make us a new one it'll be the same material as these these are from Street Arrow as well uh, it's going to be this like a uh, quarter inch ABS plastic so it'll look nice and thick without having to use uh, some sort of metal that's going to be really heavy. Um, I was debating doing steel just because obviously it'll match the rest of the arrow, I guess. But uh, obviously this being aluminum, I tried to get a little bit thicker. I think this is maybe like 18 gauge or so, but I think that would be too thin for a diffuser. Uh, and then I don't really want to do it steel because not only would it be heavy, uh, I'd want to try and weld it and it, it would just be kind of a pain. It would probably be way too heavy and I'm not sure if I want to do that. So I think what we're going to do is have Street Arrow come through and uh, kind of make us one and make it you know real nice and clean. And I think it'll look real good and kind of tie everything together. And then we'll get some new splitter rods to hang this thing up. And I think that'll be a huge improvement obviously that's not the main part of today's video uh, we're gonna be redoing this panel here this is one of the ugliest parts of this whole rear end um, and it's kind of the only thing that kind of didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. Everything's not really supposed to look perfect. Obviously, the whole point of this car is to kind of look like it's, uh, I guess, rat rotted. So it's not really supposed to look perfect. It's not supposed to be done, you know, super well. It's kind of supposed to look like it was kind of thrown together, you know, with tack welds and stuff like that and just a bunch of rivets. Um, that's kind of the style I was going for. With all the holes being in here from trying to do the taillights, uh, you know, several years ago and then just it being the 22 gauge, it's super flimsy. And so we're gonna be replacing this today. We're gonna try and make it out of a much thicker material. I got this here. I have no idea how thick this is, but it's probably eighth inch thick or so. It's pretty hefty. And I'm thinking what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these same bolt holes to mount it, but from there we'll be able to bend it and it will keep the shape so that way we don't have to try and uh, you know make it fit in here. We'll just make it real close to where it wants to be. And from there, will just bend the piece of metal and it'll keep the shape um, it is going to be heavier than this but honestly weight isn't exactly you know a problem with this whole thing so uh, hopefully we're going to try and clean this up a little bit and uh, you know eventually it'll get the same patina as the rest of the stuff just like the flares did whenever we first got those so it'll match and everything and I think it'll be much better and it won't be nearly as hack as the rest of this because I feel like this is probably one of the worst things on this car anyways I'm gonna have to start taking this apart I think I got to take off the wings so that way we can lift up the trunk all the way we'll unbolt this use this as a template maybe put it on cardboard from there, get it perfect, and then we'll transfer it over to the metal, cut that out, and uh, hope to God everything lines up and, and matches because uh, I pretty much have one go with that thing. So we have this thing off. Obviously, uh, we're gonna have to take this apart to use this. These were basically used as a spacer to help push this out. And then we had a nut on the back side on the other side of the sheet metal to help space that where we want it to be. Then obviously we have this square tubing to help put it where we want. So we're gonna use basically all of the mounting points that we had before, use this as a template. Hopefully we'll be able to transfer this uh, maybe onto something, make sure it's perfect, then onto that and you know, hopefully this will all be relatively straightforward. Uh, we're also gonna be reusing these latches as well and uh, 
you know, there are just some side cappers in there. Uh, hopefully we can reuse those because I don't think I have any of the same ones. Also, if you did see my absolutely horrid exhaust, this thing is uh, basically a chrome bumper that was damaged or something, and so that's how I got it. And uh, basically I just used that because it was kind of the right size tubing that I wanted, and it was free. And basically, yeah, it's, it's by no means pretty. It probably leaks and, you know, 1500 different places. I would like to do a actual Y split and then do the two, uh, basically redo the whole thing. And then obviously I would like to do like maybe headers back completely, you know, like catless, uh, maybe do like some motorcycle mufflers or something. I don't know, maybe something a little bit more unique. This thing sounds pretty horrible. Uh, that's why I always keep it in super low uh, revs. When I'm driving, I'm always in like, you know, fourth or fifth gear when I'm cruising at like 30 miles an hour, just so it's, it's like, 1500 RPM max. Um, sometimes I will just rev it out just because it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I, I want to do something with the exhaust, but I doubt that'll happen uh, before coils and I don't even know when that's gonna happen, but that needs to happen pretty soon because I'd like to actually drive this thing around and uh, this suspension is, is lacking to say the least. I'd like to show you guys, probably in a different video, I'll show you the suspension that I have if you don't remember just because it's been so long since I've done it and, and show you, uh, you know, how it's held up and maybe drive it around and do a little bit of a review on my, my super hack job, uh, you know, stiff suspension. It has been quite a while since we started working on this project and I wasn't able to get it completely finished because the hole saw that I got was for wood. I figured I could at least drill a couple of holes with it. I was wrong and it barely made even a dent so I had to get one of these. Uh, it's really expensive in stores so I went ahead and bought it on like Amazon. It took a really long time because it didn't have Prime uh, so I had to wait for both these things to come in but now we have the metal hole saw that is five inches. We're going to use it not only for the exhaust holes in the middle here but we're also going to use them for the majority of the taillights. So that way we can get a nice kind of curvature out of there and we'll see how good this thing does. If it doesn't do that well, we're not gonna use it for this, but I think it's gonna help us get a nice curvature right away. And it's almost the same size as we want for here. We're just gonna have to trim a little bit more and then make this straight cut there. So it's the next day and I've been working on this thing. Basically, I've been using a hammer and some other stuff I have around here to help bend this into shape. Uh, I've done a little bit since you've last seen this. Uh, I filed down a lot of this. Sadly, I wasn't able to get these surfaces completely round. We will maybe try and make that perfectly round at some point or maybe do some kind of thing there. I'm not sure. It's too bad that those hole saws didn't work out. Um, that side, I'm not working on it right now. But this one, you can see it's kind of bent into shape. It's going to be held up a little bit more. But you can see that it's really getting there. And we started to bend this here and then I started to bend this corner in too because that's bent up a little bit so uh, obviously you know I'm not super good at metal working uh, by any means and uh, so far it's turning out pretty damn good uh, but it's gonna take a lot of finessing to try and make this thing fit as good as possible we're also gonna have to do some trimming up here most likely uh, just because as we bend that in it's kind of coming up as well so we're gonna have to trim that down I think 
but other than the filing and basically going over the whole thing sanding it uh, really the only thing I've been doing is kind of just trying to hammer this into place and I don't think I'm gonna try and make it perfectly round I think I'm almost gonna make it kind of have you know a bend every once in a while and I've really just been using this angle iron and I'll hit it right in the crease there just so it bends it right there uh, I was trying to bend it on the floor but I kept wanting to bend right here obviously that's because where the least amount of material is and so I was having some trouble with that but this is working out pretty well it leaves a little bit of marks but uh, so far turning out pretty damn good it's just gonna be a lot of finessing and some trimming to try and get this to look as good as possible and I don't think we're gonna get it there uh, in this video at some point I might try and you know take it all apart make it perfect but it is gonna be a lot of work to try and make this thing be basically perfect um, this is uh, pretty difficult but I think it's gonna end up looking a lot better than the old one did in the end Pretty quickly I got this side similar to this one um, again we are having some fitment issues I hope that whenever we put these bolts in here with these spacers uh, we can help suck that in but I think we are gonna have to do some trimming here uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna try and put these bolts in uh, bolt them up see if maybe that will kind of straighten some things out from there we're gonna have to probably unbolt it and uh, make some adjustments with all this um, we're probably gonna bring this out a little bit as well um, so far, looking pretty good. Looks a lot better on film than it does in person though. quite a bit of tweaking I finally got this rear panel where I'm at least happy with it where I can leave it for now uh, move this thing over to my house and let it sit for a little bit until we finally get some legit coilovers for this thing um, I haven't mentioned this yet but I'm not really gonna be touching this thing until we get legit coils for this thing because I have some serious rubbing issues in the front. I'm rubbing the inside of the sidewall on my tire on the shock tower and pretty much there's not a whole lot I can do. I can't really clearance it without kind of messing up some structural stuff and so I really just need to get some legit coils and that's probably not gonna happen until probably after this Cressida is uh, finished. So I'm pretty much just gonna bring it over there, leave it there for a little bit. We might take it out maybe here and there a little bit. At least we have this to where it's looking pretty good. I have this sitting in a relatively good position. It looks about as good as the other one did right now, I would say, uh, where this one looks better overall. It looks cleaner. Um, I'm sure on film and from further away, it really doesn't make a whole lot of difference. But overall, uh, with some more tweaking, some more metal work, and uh, a little bit more adjustment in just kind of the position and getting it to fit a little bit better, this is gonna be so much better than the old one. Uh, it's just so much cooler and just, I don't know, I feel like it fits a lot better. And we kind of have it like press fitted up against here so it's nice and flush. Uh, we are gonna have to do a lot more trimming, tweaking, and, and stuff like that whenever we truly wanna get this thing finished up um, but in the meanwhile I'm gonna start uh, you know working on getting some coils for this thing and then uh, we are also going to be getting a new diffuser for this thing made by Street Arrow and then from there we're gonna have to just try and get this make we're just gonna try and clean this thing up a little bit with some nicer splitter rods and stuff like that so Anyways, I wanted to touch on this thing a little bit, but I really need to focus on the Cressida. I hope you guys can understand that. Uh, we are gonna be having more videos on that thing out soon. We have some major progress, and uh, I, I'm really hoping to get this thing in paint as soon as possible.
possible. As for this thing, it is looking pretty good. It's pretty well shaped and fitting a lot better than it was. If you remember, this side was sagging down. Uh, basically, I just kind of uh, widened the holes a little bit, put some washers, made it sit where I wanted it to sit, tightened it up, and it looks a lot better. Um, overall, I think it looks pretty good, and I'm happy with it for now, but we are gonna do more adjustment later on. 